Hello everyone and welcome back to Earth Unplugged. I'm Maddie and today we're at Crocodiles of the World in Oxfordshire to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be flirting with an alligator. If you've been with the channel a while, you might remember that a couple of years ago I came here to help move two American alligators, Daisy and her enormous boyfriend, Albert, who apparently has got even bigger. But today we've got something a little bit different up our sleeves. Right, so this is the American alligator enclosure. And Sean, do you want to introduce us to your babies? Yeah, of course. So we have uh, Albert just in front of us. So he is big, enormous. He's a, he's a big alligator. <laughs> Daisy at the back, and then we have two baby American alligators. But that's not all. Let me also introduce Rob Ham and his tuba. Um, it might seem a little bit weird to be playing musical instruments inside an enclosure, but trust me, it's going to be well worth it. So, Sean, we are going to play a very specific note, a pedal B flat to Albert. We are. And it's going to cause a bit of a reaction. It is. What's going on? So, basically, crocodilians are very vocal animals and, and they use vocalisation to communicate with each other in mating rituals, but also warning off other males. And the B flat is um, the same frequency as a male American alligator. So, this should trigger Albert into bellowing because he thinks there's another male around or he wants to you know, woo his lovely lady there and, and attract her over. So I'm actually a little bit nervous about this. I it, think it's going to be quite intimidating. It's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling to yeah. be so close to an animal producing this, this noise. Rob, are you ready? Yeah. I reckon we should do it. Cool. I think they're ready. Right. Three, two, one. You can see like the water rippling, rippling. On, on his back. Mm -hmm. Before the vocalisation that we hear, they produce something which is called infrasound, which we can't hear, but we can see it in the water around him. He vibrates his whole body to a frequency where the water around him will move. After that, then he lifts his head up and then he creates a vocalisation which is audible to us. So this is Daisy flying to him. So is that Daisy thinking Albert's having a bit of a flirt? Mm. Daisy, you lucky devil. Getting on with the tube. <laughs> so that's him marking his territory, saying it's like, don't come saying, close. This is my area. Yeah. My female. Yeah. Stay, stay away. Bob, how did you find it? It was amazing. I suppose it was like, like we were talking. Did you so think we, so? Because yeah, one after the other, I play and then I get the response back. It's really yeah. a, a strange experience to be that close to it. That's something which is so dangerous, I think. All right, Rob, when you're ready. pretty exhausting for Rob doing that for, for that amount of time but how is it for an alligator? It is very tiring for them to create that vibration uh, his body goes completely rigid and it takes so much energy to produce that infrasound so yeah. you know it's not something they do all day every day through the breeding season so we're lucky to hear it. That power is incredible and to feel it as well um, really awesome something i didn't didn't expect to get to experience but i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more just like this then check out the video where i was here last time helping to move these two into their old enclosure subscribe for more videos just like this and we'll see you next time on earth unplugged we've got a bit of extra time and we've managed to get our hands on this little thermal camera which is plug into your phone and we thought it'd be pretty cool to go around the various crocodile and alligator species here at crocodiles of the world just to see what their temperatures are like. <laughs> 